NASA's dream of returning astronauts to the moon sounds like something straight out of a Hollywood rom-com, except someone's clearly over-promised on that whole moon and stars deal. I mean, a date in Paris would have been cheaper. Turns out NASA's been crushing on the moon for a while, doodling space stations in the margins like a love-struck team. But how much does this daydream cost? Oh, just $3 billion for a launch tower. Yep, that's almost as much as developing SpaceX's Starship. NASA's space launch system SLS is about to need an upgrade and by upgrade. I mean, a launch tower with a price tag say hello to Mobile Launcher 2 coming in at a bargain price of $1.8 billion or maybe $2.7 billion according to NASA's own Inspector General. This tower is for Artemis 4, which kicks off NASA's moon obsession the construction of a lunar gateway in 2028. And guess who's shook by the price? None other than Elon Musk who literally exclaimed holy smokes, probably while calculating how many starships he could build for that kind of cash. Let's dive into why NASA's dream of reaching the moon might cost as much as buying it. With $2.7 billion, SpaceX could rent 43 Falcon 9 rockets, each priced at $62 million to launch an impressive 762 tons of cargo into orbit, almost one-fifth the weight of NASA's new launch tower. For the same price, we could even dream of sending the entire tower into space. To put it in perspective, this amount is just half of SpaceX's $5 to $6 billion investment in developing Starship, including its infrastructure. Meanwhile, Starship has already undergone multiple fully stacked test flights, while NASA's SLS rocket and Mobile Launcher 1 have only launched once in 2022. With the SLS needing a full rebuild for each use, it's becoming clear that sticking to this non-reusable system could be a massive waste. For the same budget, NASA could potentially buy multiple single-use Starship Super Heavy rockets. If SpaceX's reusability goals are fully realized, continuing with SLS just doesn't make economic sense. Recent updates reveal that for the Artemis 3 mission, astronauts will rely on Nokia's 4G network to ensure clear communication with Earth. Meanwhile, SpaceX is reportedly contracted to produce the Dragon XL, an expendable cargo spacecraft designed to support NASA's Lunar Gateway. While SpaceX is making strides in this area, other global space agencies are also advancing their cargo capabilities. Russia's Roscosmos continues to operate the Progress M, a modern iteration of the Soviet era Soyuz spacecraft, primarily for cargo delivery. The Cygnus spacecraft, developed by Northrop Grumman, has been providing cargo services to the ISS for years, focusing solely on up mass delivery. Japan's JAXA is preparing to launch the HTVX in 2025 to restore cargo transfer capabilities to the ISS service that ended with the HTV-2's last flight in 2022. China's Tianzhou spacecraft, which supports the Tiangong space station, also focuses on up mass delivery. The space launch system SLS has proven to be a costly venture for NASA, both in financial terms and in project delays. The SLS, a critical part of NASA's Artemis program, has faced years of delays and budget overruns ballooning into the billions. The cost overruns have drawn the attention of lawmakers, who now view the project as unsustainable. According to a recent report from NASA's Office of Inspector General OIG, the second mobile launcher ML2 will not be ready until 2029, a year after the planned Artemis 4 launch. NASA disputes this, predicting reduced cost growth as its contractor, Bechtel, has already begun construction at Kennedy Space Center. However, the OIG report argues that Bechtel has underestimated the project's scope, particularly in labor, equipment, and administrative costs. NASA's ability to control costs is hindered by the cost plus contract, which gives the agency little leverage over Bechtel aside from deducting award fees. Despite an option to switch to a fixed price contract, NASA officials chose not to pursue it, fearing a proposal from Bechtel that would exceed budget capacity. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson publicly criticized the cost plus mechanism, advocating for fixed price contracts to foster competition and reduce costs. Yet, despite these efforts, the project continues to face soaring expenses, with some reports estimating each Artemis launch could cost NASA over $4 billion. NASA NASA's Mobile Launcher 2 ML2 project has faced skyrocketing costs and delays. Initially estimated at $234 million for its first tower, NASA has now spent over two and a half times that amount, with delays stretching more than two and a half years. ML2 is critical for future Artemis missions, beginning with Artemis 4, as it will accommodate the taller Block 1B configuration of the Space Launch System SLS. The original Mobile Launcher 1, developed for the Cancelled Constellation program, was used for Artemis I in 2022, but NASA now requires a larger structure for its next generation rocket. In addition to ML2's cost overruns, a recent report from the Office of Inspector General OIG flagged technical issues with Boeing's Block 1B rocket. Meanwhile, NASA's Lunar Gateway space station also faces challenges. According to a report from USGS, large spacecraft like SpaceX's Starship may struggle to dock with the Gateway as their size could affect the station's orbit and communication capabilities. Program officials are exploring solutions, including having visiting spacecraft fire thrusters to help maintain the Gateway's position. NASA's Lunar Gateway, envisioned as a vital staging area for human missions to Mars, is facing significant challenges that may derail its goals. Initially planned to support missions to the moon and beyond, the Gateway is struggling with its ability to accommodate large spacecraft like SpaceX's Starship. This technical issue, combined with its 15-year life cycle, raises concerns that it may be nearing the end of its operational capacity just as much
Mars missions are set to begin. With a projected cost of over $5 billion, the Lunar Gateway is also grappling with scheduling delays. NASA needs to coordinate complex operations across seven different programs, and the Gateway must be in orbit a year before Artemis IVs launch. However, current projections show Gateway launching in 2027, three months behind schedule. This delay, along with the ongoing issues plaguing the space launch system SLS, complicates NASA's long-term ambitions. Despite its importance to future lunar and Mars missions, the Gateway's purpose and feasibility remain uncertain. According to a new GAO report, NASA's Lunar Gateway won't launch its initial components until at least December 2027. Pushing its timeline beyond what's needed to support the Artemis 4 mission scheduled for September 2028, the Gateway, estimated to cost over $5 billion, faces several technical hurdles, including issues with stacking control capability. Large spacecraft like SpaceX's Starship could disrupt the Gateway's orbital alignment, potentially causing communication failures and docking problems. Starship's mass is 18 times what NASA used to develop the Gateway's control parameters, forcing officials to explore solutions like having spacecraft fire thrusters to assist in Mason maintaining orbit. Compounding these challenges is the Gateway's 15-year lifespan, meaning it could be near retirement just as human Mars missions are set to begin. Furthermore, a faulty network chip on the Gateway could lead to flight computer malfunctions, risking a loss of control. While the Gateway will rely on SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, a proven launch vehicle for some components, the costly and slow SLS rocket will also play a key role. After decades of development, NASA's space launch system SLS has only flown once with no launches scheduled for 2024. Worse, the program is now grappling with technical problems due to poor quality control during construction. A recent report from NASA's Office of Inspector General flagged significant issues with Boeing's work on the SLS Block 1B, including failure to meet international standards and contractual requirements. Boeing's lack of experienced aerospace workers has compounded the problem, raising concerns about the safety and reliability of SLS components. These setbacks are likely to delay the already postponed Artemis IV mission, currently planned for 2028, and could inflate the SLS Block 1B cost to $5.7 billion to $700 million over budget. The SLS's troubles are also casting doubt on NASA's broader plans for lunar exploration, particularly the Lunar Gateway. With SpaceX's Starship chosen as the lunar lander and offering many of Gateway's capabilities, questions are being raised about the necessity of spending billions on a space station in lunar orbit. Some experts believe that NASA should either cancel or delay the Gateway and focus on lunar surface operations to avoid further slowing the Artemis program's progress. It seems that NASA would have to make some tough choices and bend its principles to gatekeep the taxpayers' confidence and trust. But who will stand in the way? Congress, Elon Musk, or will some other state's interference finally give in to the exploitation by NASA? So that's all for today, folks. We will keep you updated on new things happening in the space above. But until then, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing updates. Watch, think, ask, and learn, and we will be back shortly. Until next time, see you.